Hey everyone, Canadian Summer here. How are you guys doing? I just want to say welcome back uh, to my channel. So today I'm actually going to do a tutorial for you on how to make your own custom content paintings. Um, I know there's a few out there already, but I'm just trying to make it so it's a little bit easier because I know when I started making mine, which was only a couple months ago, I had some issues. I get frustrated easily, so you know I kept giving up and finally I found one that was pretty good. The guy was really good, except for the fact that I had a hard time figuring out what he was trying to tell me like he wasn't showing me where to click and what to open and stuff so I had to kind of weasel my way through it um, so I'm hoping that I can make this as easy as possible and that when you watch it you're like oh my god this is so easy so let's get started so first of all you're gonna need the Sims 4 studio which I have the most current um, uh, version and um, I use Adobe Photoshop to do my editing, so um, that's the only way I know how to do it. So, yeah, it's pretty easy actually. Like once I started doing it a few times, it actually um, was quite simple. So we'll get started. So you're going to open your Sims 4 Studio, and what's going to happen is this is going to show up. It's going to be your main screen. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your creator name in. So I put mine down here. I see where I'm circling. La la la. That's where your creator name is going to go. And we're just going to do object in a standalone recolor. So you're just going to go to object and make sure that standalone recolor, the very top one, is uh, checked off. So hit that. And then all your stuff from the game is going to load. And once it does, you're going to want to find the painting that you're going to want to use. So I'm actually going to do a bigger painting and I already know where to find it. So I'm just going to scroll right down to the bottom. Oh, here's all the new stuff. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to use one of these um, paintings from... Uh, the movie hangout so I'm just gonna click it you just highlight it and then click next and then wait for it to load and then another screen's gonna pop up and it's gonna ask you to save your file so you want to save it don't change this package file well it's the only option there is so um, uh, what I do is name your Canadian simmer underscore um, I'm just gonna call this a test painting just for tutorial purposes so that's all you're gonna have to do is just name your painting so whatever you want to name it um, and I'm gonna save it in my CC file just down here so I'm gonna save that and then this is gonna pop up so what I'm gonna do is what you want to do is in your catalog you want to actually rename your picture so all I ever do is put my name and then what I'm actually calling it and in my description I just put the same thing just to make it easier and then you can change the price to whatever price you want I'll just leave it as is um, then you're gonna go to texture um, I'll show you how to do two different colors so we'll keep the black frame and we'll keep the, the kind of whitish frame there, the gray one. So we're gonna get rid of this one. So the one that's highlighted here, we're gonna remove that. And then this brownish colored one, we're gonna remove as well. So we have these two. So once you've done that, you want to save it and it's gonna save it wherever you initially saved it the first time. It's just gonna resave it basically. So what you wanna do is you wanna export each package file. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm just going to um, actually I'll save it in my just save it wherever you would like to save it no that's not what I want to do and you want to resave the file so I'm just gonna put it as a number one just because um, we don't need to we're only using the file for um, editing purposes we don't actually need to keep the file after so I'm just gonna call it number one and I'm going to save it and then it's going to save in there and you'll see here on this side what it looks like and then you want to click on your white one you can close that window actually and then you're going to click the white one make sure it's highlighted here and you're going to export that one as well and I'm just going to call that one number two now what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's I think I already have a number two so we'll just give it a number five and you want to make sure that the save type is a DDS file so make sure that your save as type is highlighted and it's a DDS file. So let's save that and it's going to save in there as well. So once we do that, you can actually minimize your Sims Studio 4 or Sims 4 Studio. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my, why is this not working? I'm going to go into my um, desktop and I'm going to go find those files that I just saved. So mine are located here. So I have, I'm going to actually just delete these because I don't need them. Okay, so for this one, which is the black frame, if you right click and go open with, I'm going to open with my Adobe Photoshop. I'm just going to wait for this to load. There we go. And you can actually load both of them at the same time. Like have them both in here and then just switch between the two once you're done. So I'm going to right click that one and open with Adobe Photoshop as well. So now you can see up here the top left of your screen where I'm circling here. That's where your two files will show up if you open both of them. So we're going to go here. So the first thing you want to do is in your bottom right corner down here, um, you'll see where it says background. You want to click that twice, like double click it. And then this little screen is going to pop up. You're just going to go OK. Once you do that, you're going to go up to your top left. And there's a little dotted line box right here where I'm kind of circling. You want to click this, so where my mouse is hovering over right now. And it's the rectangular marquee tool. You're going to click that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to outline the current photo in the box. So you're going to outline it. Uh, just like that. You're going to hit the delete button. And then you're going to go control D to get the lines to make them go away. Now, once you do that, this is the easy part. You're going to go into your file here. Now I have lots of pictures that I've been wanting to make and I just haven't gotten around to it. So let's find a picture that we are going to make here. So we're going to use this one. Um, so what you want to do is you want to click it and you want to drag it over to your Adobe Photoshop. And then we'll make that screen big again. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to line it up to fit it into the painting like so. Now once it's all lined up hit enter and then you're going to go back down to this bottom right corner here where your layer is and then you'll see the picture show up there. What you want to do is you want to drag that photo, the one that you just brought in, you want to pull that down below where it says layer. Then once that's highlighted you're going to right click, you're going to go all the way up here to flatten image and then you save it. So we're going to just go save and it's going to save over the current one. So once this pops up, you just want to, you want to make sure that it says 2D texture right here and it's a DXT5 because you'll get a bunch here and make sure it's a DXT5. Okay. And then you're going to go save. Once that's saved, you can actually close that window. And then we're just going to do the same picture. So same thing, double click on background in the bottom right corner, hit OK. Highlight your little box right here and then outline your photo again ha ah, i'm all over the place hit delete control d drag your picture over so we use the same one because we're going to have it in two different frames make sure that it lines up like so hit enter drag the photo underneath the layer and then right click, flatten image, go over and save. So that's basically it. Um, and then I'll show you how to load it into your game as well. So we're done with that. So we can actually minimize it. Um, we're going to go back. I think I'm too far. Go back to where you saved it. So now you're going to see that this is actually different. So we're going to open our Sims 4 Studio. And now at this point, we're going to go import. So right here under texture, where it says import, the blue button, you're going to click import. And then you're going to find the one with the white frame and you're going to click it. And there you go. That's exactly what it looks like. And then you switch over to the black frame. You're going to go import again, find the photo, double click and enter. Now, once you've done this and all your catalog and everything, you don't have to fiddle with anything else. You just hit save like so. Your package has been saved, which will just sit overwrite this one. And then we're just going to minimize that. And then what I usually do is I just copy 
I just copy this because I keep my CCs in a different folder altogether just in case something happens with my game and I still have the packages. Then you're going to go to documents. Documents here on your left. You're going to go to electronic arts. You're going to go to Sims 4, your mods folder. And then I have an actual folder for my own CC painting. painting. So I'm going to double click that and then I'm going to paste my painting in there. So right there. And basically that is what you need to do. So um, I hope this tutorial was quite easy for you to follow. Um, if you do have any questions, leave your questions in the comments and I'll help you as best I can, guys. Um, unfortunately, the only thing I know how to make right now is paintings. I am working on trying to do um, rugs, which are pretty much the same process as paintings. And I'm also trying to learn how to do my own recolors, which I've kind of messed around with a little, little bit. But uh, yeah, I hope you liked this tutorial. I hope it was informative and it helped you. And uh, yeah, please share your paintings if you do make some and uh, let me know how things go. Okay, happy simming and have a good night, guys. Bye.